Hello there. I'm Ted Taylor, and I have glioblastoma multiform known as GBM. I know how devastating it is to hear this news firsthand, and I relate to you. So I make videos about GBM and what I have learned to share with you and your loved ones. I do not have any official or formal medical training, dietary training, or any other medical professional designation. These videos do not provide medical advice and are intended for informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Join me on this journey and we'll walk this path together. By this point, I had been on the calorie-restricted Keto for Cancer diet for almost three months and my total weight loss was 40 pounds. This was made up of my initial weight loss of 20 pounds due to my nausea and inability to eat for weeks before my diagnosis plus an additional 20 pounds resulting from the special calorie restricted keto for cancer diet with intermittent fasting. After two and three quarters years, I remain at the total weight loss of 40 pounds. The weight loss feels good. And since it has stabilized with my diet and exercise, it seems to me to be healthier overall. And I believe helps with many aspects of my overall health and my body's ability to fight the cancer. I will mention that I do tend to feel cold more often due to having less body fat and I had to purchase some new pants. During this time, we were waiting for more information about the locally conducted tests on my tumor for the NTRK fusion markers. As this second group of results was also inconclusive, we decided to get the testing done by Foundation One based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It was expensive, and there was only a 1% chance that I would test positive for the NTRK fusion marker. However, 1% was better than zero, especially when we learned about larotrectinib vitrectomy, how it worked, as well as its efficacy. Please watch the video episode on Foundation One and larotrectinib vitrectomy for additional information. We met with my outside-the-box oncologist, Dr. Klimo, and he agreed and was very supportive to proceed with trying to get approval for me to take the drug. Although the initial testing was inconclusive, we still wanted to proceed to the next step. Dr. Klimo works with his incredible pharmacist, Dr. Shade Shadfar, and together we applied for the drug through Health Canada. This is no small undertaking. This is a new drug that has not been approved in Canada. It has never entered the country and only recently was approved by the FDA. The skill and knowledge required to submit an application to Health Canada of this nature cannot be understated. Dr. Shadfar is very skilled and knowledgeable and has been such a blessing in my treatment. As a result of the thorough and well done application on my behalf to Health Canada, they granted me as an individual, special approval to use the drug under the Special Access Program. This is incredible and another step in my miracle in the making. Thank you, Dr. Klimo and Dr. Shadfar, for all of your continued determination, dedication, and perseverance. What a team. The next step was for the manufacturer to allow me to have access to the drug. The manufacturer is Bayer, and they required a conclusive report from Foundation One stating that I was either NTRK1, 2, or 3 positive. We had sent the genetic sample to Foundation One about a week before hearing this news, and within two weeks we received the report from Foundation One, and the key finding was that I had the NTRK1 fusion marker, and Betracfi larotrectinib was a possibility for me. This was another step in my miracle in the making. With this news, we met with my outside-the-box oncologist, Dr. Klimo, and his pharmacist, Dr. Shadfar. Dr. Shadfar sent the report to both Health Canada and Bayer, and we were absolutely thrilled that Bayer approved me for the drug. I have been told that I am the first person in Canada to be approved and to take larotrectinib in Canada. Another step in the miracle in the making. The drug had to be shipped from the United Kingdom to Germany and then to Canada. 
It had some delays and was a long-awaited process. We were at my pharmacist's office, Dr. Shadfar's, when the drug arrived by special air delivery about a week later. It was April 18th, 2019. We went over the instructions for taking the drug with the incredible Dr. Shadfar, and I was to begin taking the drug the next day, which happened to be April 19th, 2019, which was Good Friday of all days. Incredible. I have been taking Larotrectinib since, and I am so incredibly blessed to be on this drug. I am so grateful to my oncologist, especially Dr. Klimo, my pharmacist, Dr. Shadfar, Health Canada, and to Bayer to have made this very special drug available to me. This amazing new drug works well on all solid forms of cancer. That is, not any blood cancers such as leukemia. As long as the patient's tumor tests positive for either NTRK 1, 2, or 3. Since learning of this new drug, my outside-the-box oncologist, Dr. Klimo, has already successfully tested another patient with a completely different cancer who tested positive, and that patient is also taking the drug now. This is amazing and such a blessing. It may only be a 1% chance, but someone has to be that one out of 100. It is a rare possibility, but worth reviewing in my opinion. Thank you, Bayer Pharmaceuticals, for approving me for this incredible new targeted therapy medication. On another note, I had the pleasure to meet the doctor who did the initial research into Larotrectinib Vitracvi only one month ago. His name is Dr. Sorensen. I was able to thank him, and I am so appreciative. He began his work on developing this drug many years ago, and it is nothing short of a miracle that so many years before I would need this medication, he was working hard to make it into a reality. We appeared together in a webinar in June 2021, and you can view the webinar on my YouTube channel and website. Thank you, Dr. Sorensen. I continue to do the Keto for Cancer diet as I believe that it is absolutely critical in my tr cancer treatment. The odds are extremely against being in the 1% group that will have the NTRK gene fusion and where larotrectin and vitracti may be an option. But virtually all of us can adapt our diet and follow the Keto for Cancer diet. I believe this is why this is such an incredible opportunity and may be one of the greatest overall cancer breakthroughs for glioblastoma and all cancer patients. I cannot stress enough the importance I feel towards reviewing this information and making your own decision about the Keto for Cancer calorie restricted diet. With a lot of anxiety and trepidation, I underwent my first MRI since completing my standard of care treatment coupled with my Keto for Cancer diet and the other adjunct therapies in mid-June 2019. We waited anxiously for the results, and when they came in, they were very upsetting. It read that it appeared there was a 9 millimeter nodule and rim-enhancing focus and was suspicious for a locally recurrent enhancing tumor. Plus, there was another area that was more conspicuous than the pre previous preoperative MRI. It appeared that the cancer was returning and was already visible. This was very emotional as we knew that this what this likely meant as it was about eight months since the diagnosis and I had now undergone all my standard of care treatments. We decided to check with another expert and had another MRI done a month later. This time a doctor specializing in GBM reviewed the MRI images and to our great relief the results were that he did not believe the cancer was returning. He noted the anomalies that were highlighted in the June MRI and said they were less prominent in the July scan, but they seemed instead to be healing and brain adjustment areas that resulted from the debulking surgery and the radiation and chemotherapy. But we would continue to monitor these scanned areas and the results carefully in future scans. This was great news and it shows it is important not to let the results of one test get you too high or too low. Remaining as positive as you can is important in the fight against this disease as well as being your own best advocate. I have undergone scans every three months since and so far the cancer does not seem to be visible which is wonderful. With the COVID-19 global pandemic my family and I 
have to be incredibly careful as I remain immune compromised. I find one tends to live three months at a time between scans. I continue to follow the Keto for Cancer diet very carefully every day and I do not deviate at all. I am so fortunate to be taking the Larotractinib Vitracvi drug. I exercise daily and get blood tests every month. I have continued to learn over the past year and a half and have worked a bit at a time to make these videos. I need to be careful as I can only do a bit at a time as I get fatigued if I do too much in the day. The surgery, chemotherapy and radiation all have a permanent effect on my stamina and memory. Since the radiation treatment, I do sometimes search for words now and other symptoms that do not allow me to be as strong or have the same abilities as I once had. I do all of this with my goal to help others who have been afflicted with GBM. I firmly believe that we need to learn all we can and that each of us must take all of the steps we can in our battle with glioblastoma. Once you have the knowledge, you can be your own best advocate and take the steps towards your treatment with your family, friends, and medical team. It has taken a lot of time to do all of the research, find experts, possible paths, and special treatment options, time we just don't have with such an aggressive disease. I thought putting all of this in one place so you can watch and rewatch as often as you need would be useful and possibly provide you the tools you may need to help in your battle. I know how difficult it was to get any positive information about GBM in my searching and I'm happy to try and extend this information to anyone who is facing the same battle. If you find this information helpful, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Watch each video to the end. Click on the like button for each video and ask your friends and family to do the same, as fortunately there is not a large group of people with glioblastoma. And this is the best way to get this information out there to anyone else who may be searching. I invite you to follow me on my journey. Let's go. If you feel compelled to help, please go to my website as seen on screen and go to my Patreon section if you are able to provide a gift to help with the costs of making these videos. It would be appreciated. Please know that this is information I have researched and learned and it is helping me. It may or may not help you. Please review all information with your family, friends, and medical team before proceeding with any of these possibilities. God bless you, and we will see you in the next episode.